Hello and welcome back to my Android tutorial series. This is tutorial number 16 and this is my first request video. Uh, this is an extension on number 15. In, in this tutorial we are going to uh, load a list from a database, click on that list, and then pass that information to another activity, and then use that to load another list. So here we can see our list. It's a list of authors. We click on it, and then we get a list of books by that author in our other activity. Then we go back and click a different one, and that's pretty cool. So you basically are using the data that you passed in example 15, that ability to pass the data from one activity to another, and then use that to pull uh, a new list. This is basically all done in SQL. There really isn't much of this uh, that's new in the Android side of things, but let's go ahead and look at the code anyway. So first thing you'll notice is that tutorial uh, 16 looks pretty much like tutorial 15. Um, we've got our string for our uh, intent extra that we're going to pass. We've got our helper, our adapter, and our cursor. Uh, everything looks pretty much the same. Uh, the only thing down here that's different is instead of an uh, ingredient adapter, it's an author adapter. And instead of an ingredient holder, it's an author holder. Other than that, it's all pretty much the same. Um, nothing else has really changed. Now let's go ahead and look at our Activity 2. Now Activity 2 looks a lot like the Tutorial 16.java. It's pretty much the same. Um, we actually copy a fair amount from the one class into the other. So we have our intent extra, we get our variable. And now here you can see we get our list view, we get our helper, we get our cursor from our helper, we manage our cursor, we create our adapter, we pass our adapter to our list. And that's pretty much it. Here you can see we have a book adapter instead of an author adapter, and a book holder instead of an author holder. And let's go ahead and look at our book list helper. So the first thing you'll notice that's different is it's a different helper. It's not an ingredient helper, it's a book list helper. So we change the file name. And you're going to want to change all the other stuff. You've got the path here. You got to make sure that's updated to whatever your current path is for your project. The database has a different name. It's booklist.db. And you can see that over here. And we've got table name, authors, column ID, ID, author name. And we've got a second column. So our database has two tables with at least two columns each. And then down here, you'll see as before, we have our get cursor. And then down here we have our get name and then get author by ID. This is the only thing that's actually different. We're going to run a raw query on the database. We're going to query our books table uh, ID book name where author ID equals blank. Well, that's done over here where in our uh, cursor, we're instead of running the get all or get cursor, we're getting get books by author. So we pass it the variable from the first list, which was the author ID, and we pass it in back into the helper. And this time we're querying a separate table instead of the author table, we're querying the book table. So this book table has to have a column of author IDs. This is all SQL. This is kind of beyond the scope of what these tutorials is about. If somebody in particular wants some good tutorials, uh, on SQL programming. I can recommend a few books, but basically this is how you would implement something like this. Um, you're basically just querying a different cursor. You're, you're creating what, what is called an object um, relationship mapper. It's an ORM. Um, it's a way to basically encapsulate a database in an object-oriented uh, class in, in a bit of software. So. Um, that's pretty much it. It's, it's a basic extension on number 15. You're just taking that uh, string, that little ID that you're passing uh, in your intent into activity two, and then you're using that to basically run what amounts to the same query that you did in the first activity over again. And now just for completeness sake, let's go ahead and examine our SQL or our XML files. You can see our act2.xml, which is loaded in activity two, looks a lot like the main XML. And you've got our row two, which is how we call our custom, our cursor adapter. Looks a lot like the cursor adapter we call in the main uh, tutorial 16 uh, activity. So that's pretty much it. As always, you can download this from my website. If you have any requests, you can contact me through YouTube or on my website. If you'd like additional commenting, 
uh, or anything in particular highlighted, uh, I'm always up for that. I uh, hope this helped you out and have a nice day.